Oh, boys and girls, it was all going so well. And now it's not. We'll shut the door so he can't hear us. We're recording this in the middle of the day and having to hide from ears that are upstairs because this morning, despite going to school every day, what has it been, five days now he's gone to school, completely fine, yeah. loves the bus, bounds out there every morning, asks for a ticket, loves the whole process of it. We've had nothing but positive reports back from school, apart from yesterday, actually. Oh, so did you it get might one? be. I didn't get oh, one. Oh, was it the day before that he bit his teacher? Yeah. Oh, so the day before he bit his teacher um, because the computer wasn't working, but he went back to school the next day. Uh, but this morning, he's refused to get on the bus and refused to go to school. So we're back here again with the. He's at home, we've taken all of his stuff off of him, and he's not very happy about it. He says he's going to go back tomorrow. I don't know if it's related to the incident with his teacher. To give you some background on bite, he didn't just go up to his teacher and bite his teacher. Um, the was computer a, no, wasn't there working, was a was beep, it? and he thought it was a laptop, and it wasn't a laptop. But before she could tell him it wasn't a laptop, he decided to strip because it was so hot. They had to, because he had stripped, they had to put a blanket on him because it was so hot. He didn't like that, um, and proceeded to bite. And then he got dressed listened and they gave him a fan for the rest of the day yeah so basically there was just a beeping noise and he lost it immediately and ended up in the um, ensuing melee ended up biting his teacher but that was two days ago Didn't he's been break back the skin, though. no he's been back to school since then and yesterday seemed to go fine yeah. um just a typical day the lady on the bus said he was fine he'd had a good day we didn't have any reports of any issues at school um, but then this morning he was he was dragging his feet all morning wasn't he it was it felt like it might be one of those mornings mm, right pooping. from the word go he it, it was weird because we didn't have to wake him up he was wide awake this morning when the mm. alarms went off at seven so it's not like we've woken him up and he's tired which has been the issue in the past but we've um he was just kind of dragging his feet all morning, didn't really seem to be listening, didn't really seem up for it. And then at like quarter to eight, when that's normally when you're mm. upstairs getting him dressed and washing him and all that kind of stuff, he decided he needed a poo, which is fine. He can have a poo, obviously, <laughs> but he was, took ages. And the bus came and he's still there having a poo. And at that point, I think the moment the bus arrived and he wasn't ready... Then he shouted at the Vinny. Yeah, I think at that point, demand avoidance set in and it was like, right, Andy, the bus is outside now. You need to hurry up. And I think at that point, that was, it was never going to end well as soon as we started layering on uh, the pressure and the expectation. The problem is, of course, we didn't really have another option. The bus isn't going to wait there forever. Right. There's four other kids they have to pick up after Andy. He either gets on the bus when it's there they can wait a or minimum. he doesn't yeah they'll wait a few minutes yeah. but they can't wait forever and so we're trying to hurry him up and yeah he never never even got dressed and decided to go did he, he was just he was shouting out the poop. window at them um shouting at them to leave out the window and um, the lady on the bus was shouting back at him bear in mind his bedroom's on the third floor <laughs> and he, the two of them at 8am are shouting up and down at each other she was trying to get him on the bus from there um she offered to come in she was great she offered to come in and i said no it's his room is his area if you it Go break on. breaks one of his rules if you come in and go up into his room he or we, when he had his carers before he never used to like that his room is his place where he goes to mm -hmm. so don't want a strange not she's not a stranger but someone from outside coming in and going into his room he doesn't even like it when i go in his room um I'm the only one yeah exactly pleasure. <laughs> but yeah then as soon as they'd gone he went back and carried on pooing again and has been okay. He, we took all his stuff off, off him as we all, always do. At lunchtime, he bounded into the living, <laughs> into the kitchen to have his lunch with another one of his hidden DSs. I swear that boy has Nintendo DSs <laughs> hidden around the house. We had this the last time he refused school. Yeah. We took everything off him, and I found him with a white DS. Well, today he walks in with a black one, so it's a different hidden DS. So I think, I don't know how many, we know he's got a lot of DS's. He's accumulated a lot of them over the year. We've had multiple people send old DS's to him to add to his collection. He had this thing for a long time where he wouldn't ever change the cartridge. So he had one game per DS. So he ended up with a pile of them. So I genuinely think he's got them hidden around his room. Yeah, probably. So that when stuff like this happens, it's like, I don't care. I'm having this. And 
yeah, he's happy as Larry. So I took that off him as well, which didn't go down very well at all. And now he's upstairs sulking and knows that he's not going to get his stuff back until he goes back to school. And bearing in mind it's Thursday, that means if he doesn't go back to school tomorrow, he isn't getting his stuff back until after school on Monday. That's not happening. The weekend's the weekend. No, he's got to go to school. No. He's, it's not just a survive till the weekend, then you get everything back. Or else he'll learn that. He'll learn that like that. And then he'll just be like, every Wednesday it'll really be, don't want to I've only got to get through two days. All day upstairs. You so don't have to spend do. all day. No, we can, take, we can take it in turns. We can yeah. rotate. I don't think he needs constant supervision up there. But yeah, he knows that. So and it's no game day. Well, that just doesn't take precedent over this because this could cause a huge long-term problem. Yeah. If we teach him, he can get midway through the week and then just have to go a couple of days and then he gets yeah, his stuff still, back. It's ex I get excited. For I know, but I get excited for him being at school and us having. Yeah, well, I was, I was saying yesterday. to you. Yeah, I was saying to you yesterday. I said to Annie yesterday. We went out to to B and M, did a few bits and bobs. As I'm editing this together, it occurs to me I have got some footage from yesterday. So I'm inserting that here, and then we'll let me and Anna from a few minutes ago carry on talking after you've seen yesterday. It's only like five minutes of stuff, rather than me telling you all about it in the video. You better see it in other video. Makes sense. Does everyone remember this one? This one here? When was the last time Anna was in a vlog? We stopped doing vlog every day in August and immediately this one began hibernation. Yeah. Didn't ya? That's why she's not been streaming. You are going to be back streaming soon, aren't you? Tomorrow's the game day. In fact, by the time this vlog comes out, <laughs> she would have streamed earlier today. So the streaming is coming back. Vlogs are going to be a little bit more frequent again. Anna is going to be in them. We're obviously not daily vlogging again until December for Vlogmas, but we are going to be doing a little bit more vlogging, starting with a trip to B&M, I told you in the last video, this girl loves B&M, but we're trying to solve the hibernation problem. Because when I say hibernation, I don't just mean well, you've no, not been I'm, in the video. No, basically, I've been on my medication daily because Kevin's old me and now it makes me sleep a lot. Yeah. So I've, I need okay, some just, just to clarify that statement, I'm not medicated. No, no, no. Her. She's finally into a routine of taking it I, regularly because I'm that. reminding her now. Um, but it's making you really sleepy, isn't it? So as well as sleeping all night, you're also sleeping through. Most of the day. Yeah, most of the day as well. So I'm us, awake when Andy's here. Yeah, but asleep the rest of the, the time. Rest of the day, yeah. But frustratingly, just as I'm trying to cut down on my caffeine, we've decided the solution might be some caffeine because you don't really drink. You don't drink coffee or tea really. Well, the last very time irregularly. I was, last time I was on them regularly, I had Red Bull, but not Red Bull, Monster. Yeah, but even yeah. that, you don't have it very often. It was only one can a day you were having, so it's not like we're not replacing my caffeine problem with a new caffeine problem for Anna. <laughs> she doesn't really consume any caffeine, but we're going to go and get some Monsters so you can have a Monster a day. Sugar free. Cause yeah. Don't like sugar to long. try and solve the problem. The other thing we need to get from the shop, I need to change arms. Oh. <laughs> the other thing we need to do is with the ongoing Brexit food shortages, we've had our Tesco order arrive today. And this week, in addition to not having milk and bread and all of these things. Did I get my that... milk? No, there's no milk. They don't have any lactose free stuff at all from what I can tell. Uh, but one thing they didn't have this week, well in fact, two, last week they didn't have fish fingers and we were down to the last four fish fingers. Luckily, we did get some fish fingers this week. But this week, they didn't have any salt and vinegar Walker's crisps. We have three six packs left. He takes one to school every day. So yes, he's basically he got enough to get him through school for the rest of the week. And that's it. We haven't got any for him to have at home. So we need to find some salt and vinegar Walker's crisps as well. I'm hoping they'll have some of those in B&M. If they don't, we're going to have to find some way that does have them and maybe grab some milk, some bread, some gluten-free stuff, lactose-free stuff, whatever she... Hipster food! You know it's called hipster food. We'll grab some hipster food while we're out as well. So a bit of a shopping trip. And then when we get back, Dave's having his hair cut because we've got regular appointments for that now. He doesn't need one right now. No, but he could do with a, a wash and a groom so he doesn't get... <laughs> we don't need him to turn into a messy mess to justify a haircut. You can just have a regular trim and wash so he doesn't stink and get all knotty. Exactly. So we're going to go and do all of that. Start off. Don't know. I don't know which way this way. Need to clean going. the window. You're doing. This but you is just not okay. Me. No. These masks are tiny. These are masks we got at Tiger last week. Oh, These look miniature. If I smile wide, 
I can just don't get out the sides of this. This is <laughs> utterly pointless. Success. There are loads here. We're going to need a week's supply. So, like 10 bags. Should have got a trolley. Yeah. Do they do trolleys here? Yeah, outside. How much are they here? I don't know, you walk into Two them. for 2.50. That's the same price they are at Tesco, I think, One, when they're three. supposedly in stock. Four, five, six. So make sure you get an even number. We'll call that mission a success. It is stupidly hot in this car, so I'm afraid you're gonna have a little bit of air conditioning noise for a second. But we got all the crisps we needed. We got Anna Monster, red flavor. Red. Mm. Not had red before. Um, now we just need to find a cash machine because the dog grooming people are the only company left in the universe that insist on cash payment. So I need to find some cash. This is the only time I touch cash. Allergic. Cash is dirty. Well, we got everything we needed. Yes. We got back. Oh, Dave's sneezing. <laughs> you all right? Perfect place for a picnic. You're right, Dave. I was just about to tell everybody I wasn't that impressed with your haircut. But what have you just sniffed or got up your nose to make you sneeze like that? £45, which they did take card in the end. So I've now got cash that I don't need that I won't spend for years. But £45, he doesn't really look any different to last time. I think we probably didn't leave enough of a gap between the two haircuts. I asked them to tidy him up, give him a bit of a trim, give him a wash. He's come back in, he smells clean. And I guess it's not the end of the world for him to be a little bit tidied up, but you don't feel you're getting £45 off a value unless he comes back in half the size and he still looks like he normally does. Dave, come here, let's show you off. Come here, look, come and pose. Come and pose for the camera. Dave, you look the same as you did this morning. But you do smell better. It did stink. And that's all we filmed yesterday. So, back to today. Remember, I told Anna something yesterday. That's where we left it off. And I said to Anna yesterday, this week has been the first time since we've lived in this house that I felt back to normality. It's probably the first time since pre-pandemic I felt like I was just having a normal week because he'd been going to school. I hadn't had to rush around and take him there. I hadn't had to rush around taking Anna to work. I was sat at my desk at like 8.30 every morning, able to get my work done. I was, I'm was i releasing more videos than usual. I'm back streaming Football Manager again. I feel like I'm getting stuff done. I've got some spare time because I'm working so efficiently. And it just felt like everything was back to normal for the first time since pre-pandemic. And then bang, the next day. Fault. Yeah, he wasn't there when I said this. We were talking about it while he was at school. But yeah, I think it's just the universe has decided to correct. <laughs> and we'll see. I know some of you will say as well, so just to address this one, um, why don't you just take him in the car when he finished his poo? But it was a discussion that was had. The worry there is again it's about setting a precedent with him if he if he thinks he can refuse the bus hang around for a bit and then i'll take him in a little bit later then he'll do that because i didn't he, ask him he said no yeah well i wouldn't have drove, driven him in anyway because he needs to know that he goes to school and he goes on the bus and if he doesn't go to school on the bus then he gets punished for it and he has his stuff taken off him it can't be you can refuse this thing, but then I'm there as a safety net to take him in because then he'll just do that all the time and then we're back where we were last last year and I'm back having an hour of the day taken out and getting all stressed and not being able to stream and... Oh. Oh. Why you able to stream? Because that's why I wasn't streaming so much, because I was having to do my videos in the evenings because mm. I wasn't going to be able to do them during the day. So, in hindsight, it was Kevin's fault. Yeah, I tempted the universe with my positivity. I'm sorry, universe. I'm miserable again now. <laughs> Are you happy? In other news, um, we do have something that we, or oh, you ordered, ages ago. This was supposed to be Andy's back-to-school things, wasn't it? Mm. But um, it's a hype bag. What on earth is a hype bag, Anna? I don't know. It's basically... Hype for a shop in the UK, I believe. Yeah, it's a lucky bag. I don't know what's in it. So, how much did you pay for this? 69. So this is 69 pounds for just stuff for Andy's age and size? Yes. Is it designed to be a back to school thing or is it just no. a... So it's just a bag full of stuff yeah. from this company. They're a clothes company. They do masks and bags, bags. and yep. stuff as well. We don't know what's in here, so... No. Let's have a look, see what we got for 69 pounds. Okay. So I've got 
16 year old. Oh my word, this is so chavvy. <laughs> Goodness me. It's a hoodie with height written on the front of it. Okay. They're about 14 pounds for- How would you know that? Because I look. Okay. Oh good, there's matching trousers. <laughs> so you can go for the full gang look. <laughs> They, I thought it was swimming shorts, it's not, it's yeah. a t-shirt. I like that. A t-shirt, a youth, a youth style t-shirt. A youth style yeah. style. It's the sort of thing young people wear, it's youth style. It feels like football shirt material rather than t-shirt material. You like that material, don't you? Not really, I like football shirts, but I don't tend to wear that kind of material. No, they like writing that one word on everything, so don't they? So it's camo, grey camo. Yeah, grey camel. Masks, is that? Right. Yeah, it's one of those ones that you put around your neck and pull up over your uh, okay. multifunctional headwear. <laughs> so you can wear it to keep his man bun tied or wear it as a face mask. We got a load of these at the start of the pandemic before it became clear that they're actually not any good as face masks because they're only one layer. Ah. So they don't actually get the job done. Um, another shirt Ooh, with like hype written on it. What is the fascination with young people with advertising the brand <laughs> that make their clothes? I've never really understood that. I don't want Giacomo written over all my clothes. But again, they've just written hype on everything. Another t-shirt. Oh, they do. A, do they have the prices on them? They don't. They have tags. No, they're on like ten ninety nine. I thought that was an umbrella. It's not. It's a <laughs> bottle. Again, with hype written on it. You'll have to let us know down in the down in the comments. A is this a brand case. that you'd want to wear? Um, a pencil case with hype written on it. So it is a bit back to schooly because yeah. it's got pencil case, water bottle, and a backpack by the looks of it. So is he finally going to have the Simpsons backpack replaced? No. Um, yeah. This one says just hype. So this is <laughs> the other stuff was hype. This is just hype, um, and that is what you get for. Uh, Oh, it's just Hype Limited. <laughs> that is what you get for £69 from Hype. In case you were wondering, this is labelled mm. Backpack, which is what it is. There you go. Do you feel like you got value for money on your 69 yeah, quid? Definitely. We've got Bonifin. some t shirts. What's that, like four or five t shirts, tracksuit Tracks buttons, and a hoodie? Bag. Kids' clothes must be expensive because I'm looking at that thinking my, my QWERTY shirts that I get are £9 each. So. I guess tracksuit bottoms are like 15 quid. Yeah, yeah I suppose it is value. Um, don't get one for me though, because I don't think there's anything in there I'd have worn. That's why I didn't get you one. You wanted <laughs> yeah. one at one point. Well, because you, oh, yeah, yeah. you said, you said, I've got something for Andy. I was like, where's mine? I want one, which is usually my response. I always want one. Um, but yeah, I would have been disappointed with this, so good work not getting me one. Oh, I got it for 15, not 16. Oh no, 16. Yeah. So it's like a five. But there's some nice t-shirts that you can wear. Yes. I think they're a bit big, but... Well, that's how the uh, the young'uns wear it in their gangs, isn't it? They have the exactly. shirts really oversized so they can fit their weapons under it, I think, <laughs> is the idea. I don't really understand gang I just, culture. I just saw it and I thought, oh, 69, that's not that bad. <laughs> Anyone young watching this is going to ruin me in the comments now. And really, I like that I'm just going to sit there, block, 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 block. And that'll make me feel better about the bad day we're having. See you soon, boys and girls.